Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Hey everyone, so we have an update on the 2023 Exorcist reboot slash sequel that is being directed and written by David Gordon Green and the Halloween Ends writing team, aka the director and the writers of the second worst Halloween slash Michael Myers film of all time. Those of you who care to keep updated on this movie might remember that the last update we had for the Exorcist reboot slash sequel wasn't the most positive update. As the star of the film, Leslie Odom Jr. had an undisclosed illness and production for the film had to be shut down early in December. I've yet to see an update about his health, so I'm assuming he was probably sick with the flu or the common cold no doubt and everyone went, you know, home early for the holidays. Anyway, let's hope he uh, recovers well. Recently, we have an update about the next franchise that David Gordon Green could potentially ruin. As Sci-Fi.com, there's an article titled, Cinematographer Michael Simmons looks back on Cell Adaptation and teases new Exorcist film, which is authored by Joshua, or excuse me, Josh Weiss. Michael Simmons, who was the director of photography for Halloween 2018, for Halloween Kills, and for Halloween Ends, was hired to be the director of photography for the Exorcist reboot slash sequel. He is quoted as saying that the movie is, and I quote, 90% done. That's wonderful news, I suppose. It only gives David Gordon Green just under nine months to constantly edit the fuck out of the movie go back for reshoots and potentially give us one dumb fucking movie where the demon Fazazu is probably dormant in a fucking storm sewer only to beat the shit uh you know have the shit beaten out of him by an elderly person later in the movie all jokes aside david gordon green could make a pretty good exorcist movie i mean if he does i think he should stop there with the franchise because his sequels only get worse I mean, seriously, you can't unhear Evil Dies Tonight, uh, despite how Halloween Kills is actually a pretty decent movie. Um, you also can't believe the audacity of David Gordon Green to openly say aloud that Michael Myers is not supernatural. After you have him endure the damage he does, especially during the mob scene, only for him to pull a knife out of the back of his fucking neck and slaughter people, teleport home, kill Karen, and stare at the window without breathing at the end of the film. Anyway, sorry, I, I kind of went on a rant there. If David Gordon Green should ever see these videos, just know it's okay to end your path on franchises after your first try, you know? Not all of your films need sequels, and if you think so, fuck you. Anyway, like and subscribe if you're new here. <laughs> um, to the familiar faces I see in the comments, thank you so much for your love and support. Um, I will continue to do news videos on this movie as news comes out. It's been kind of quiet, which is odd. Anyway, um, yeah, I, it looks like later this week, or Friday of next week anyway, around the 27th, I think the 27th is Friday, I'll be streaming, doing a live stream with fellow YouTuber and friend TacMac. Uh, we'll probably do it around, I don't know, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States. So, yeah, for those of you who want to hear, you know, us talk about Scream 6 or Blood and Honey or Evil Dead Rise or, I don't know, suppose any other horror movies, uh, just, you know, stop on by. So, we'll see if uh, that, if we're going to continue to go forward with that plan but anyway i'll let you know a couple days early i'll give a reminder anyway make sure to wash your hands and don't touch your uh don't touch your face yeah stay safe